everybody has been talking about SVD. I was surprised. Why would people talk about SVD? Is there a new innovation in recommender systems? Because SVD, the one I know is singular value decomposition. It's a very popular technique in recommender system, but that's not what we're going to talk in this video. This SVD that everybody is talking about is stable video diffusion. Stable video diffusion. Why is it stable video diffusion? Maybe they don't want a lawsuit from stable diffusion original research team. So anyways, the point is stability AI created a new model that is called stable video diffusion, where it can take an image and it can turn that image into a video. It's quite impressive. I stability AI team claims that it is better than or it is on par with the closed source models that they have tested, like something like, let's say runway ML or Pika models. In this video, we're going to break down how the model is and we're going to break down what does it take. And also we're going to see finally some demos that they have built using stable video diffusion. Let's get started with the video. The first thing is what is the, what is the product? This is the announcement that came a couple of days back. Uh, Stability AI, the company that develops a lot of models that we have used, has created a new model, the open, open, they call it the first open, uh, ne not necessarily the first open. This is Stability AI's first open generative AI video model. And you can see that you can upload an image and it does a pretty good job in animating the image. Like you get the image as a video. So the end result is two to five seconds. Um, you get it. Um, maximum two to five seconds of the video. And uh, the way you can get this is you can get this at different frame rates. So because you can get this at different frame rates, you can do a lot of different things with this. So stable video is released in two in the form of two image to video models capable of generating 14 sec 14 frames and 25 frames at customizable frame rate between uh, 30 and three and 30 FPS. So it can generate at three FPS and it can generate at 30 FPS. Once again, if you're working in the animation industry, if you're working in the movie industry, or if you are familiar with videos, you know that having uh, the ability to get it at different frame rates can help you do a lot of things. Like for example, you can do certain slow-mo thing, you can do certain fast things. Uh, it's, it's quite good uh, when you get it at different frame rates. And it says that it uh, processes at uh, two minutes or uh, less, uh, but if you go to their demo, you can see that on A100, it takes 60 seconds. I'm not sure if we can fit this model on Google Golab. I've not tried it yet, but um, this is this is where it is. So from a single image, it can generate like a four second video at uh, in this this particular demo is at least 25 frames at 66 FPS. So for every second, it is six frames and totally it generates 25 frames. And this they've shared a research paper. I don't want to start cribbing at the start of the video, but I cannot stop from cribbing because stable video license is what the license on which this is released. So the license is called stable video license. It's not an existing license. It is a new license that they've created. Now, what is the stable video diffusion license? What is this license? If you see this license, you can go read the license. But the main point is this license is under a non-commercial community license. That means unlike the stability AI's previous model of stable diffusion Excel, SDXL, where you can use that model in production to build any product that you want. This particular model, you cannot use it to build a production application or a commercial application to be, be specific. If you're gonna make money with this, you should not do it. You cannot use it for any commercial purpose other than research purpose, which I kind of understand stability. This is what they're calling as research preview. They don't want to make everybody use this model and build on top of it, which I can understand at this point. I'm definitely looking forward to see Stability AI making a clear statement about what is it going to be in the future. That is one thing. But if you read this, the license reflects Stability's dual commitments to making its research widely available while working to ensure that the AI models are used to benefit humanity. I never, I don't know, maybe this is part of their uh, mission or vision. But I never knew that Stability AI is working to make AI models to benefit humanity. I don't know why every company on the planet has to work to benefit humanity. I mean, is this is this some um, Silicon Valley uh, story? I don't know. Um, but anyways, the point here is that um, you cannot use it to build commercial models. So if you have been dreaming at the start of the video to make commercial model out of it, you cannot do it. And I'm definitely looking forward to hear from Stability AI or Imad to see if uh, this is not going to be what the case in the future, because 
if that is what they're going to do then you know it's it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a totally different company from what i dreamt of but at least now it is available for research non commercial purposes you can get the model code and weights directly so the model weights are available on hugging faces model hub you can just directly go here and you can see the model weights like the safe tensors are available for you to use it you've got two different um, files on you've got the normal svd file and then the second one is you've got the image decoder and you can go here and then see the specifics about what you can do with this and uh, you can see some of the user evaluation that they've done so they have uh, taken the two models one is the svd stable video diffusion 14 frames model and then the second one is a 25 frames model the 25 frames model scores much higher than the existing runway and peak collapse runway is kind of like the the boss of video creation at this point ai video creation so you can see the stability videos SVD is 25. It sounds too weird to say SVD because I, in my mind, SVD is always the the one that I said, like singular value decomposition for recommended system. So anyways, SVD uh, for um, SVD is uh, better than runway and Pika Labs and the 14 frames is almost on par with uh, runway and uh, Pika Labs. Uh, so that is where it is like uh, the user preference uh, stability has some good user preference. One of the things that I honestly wanted to point out from the paper is uh, while all these things are good is um, if you see the paper, there's one very interesting specific detail uh, that you can see that this model, while this being a pure text to image generation model, I think this model has capability to do much more than just being a normal text to image generation model. In fact, you can see that it does uh, something called multi view synthesis. So this is, I think, um, they have done fine tuning, but you can see multi view synthesis. You can give an object and then you can have a view of that object out of different directions. I remember way back when we had um, stable diffusion, um, like I think before even stability AI, I remember covering a video about a LoRa that was doing like this, um, uh, all the 360 degree capture of an image that you generate from stable diffusion. I think this has been a dream for a lot of people because that gives an ability for you to enter into the 3D world and this model has the capability of doing it, which they also acknowledge and then mention it in the abstract of the paper. So you can go here and then see uh, what all things that they can do. So finally, we demonstrate that our model provides a strong multi-view 3D prior and can serve as a base to fine tune a multi-view diffusion that jointly generates multi-view of objects in a feed-forward fashion. Uh, outperforming image based methods at a fraction of their compute budget. So, so the point here is that even though this is like a pure play text to Im video generation, image to video generation model at this point, this can actually become more than that, uh, having multi view different camera angles, because this can probably give you like lower options to create different camera ang angles. And it also can give you an ability to create like a 3d world in the future. The second thing that I wanted to point out here in this is, um, the way they did a uh, image um, frame interpolation. So if you see frame interpolation, uh, so that is one thing that you would see a lot of text to image generation, image to video generation model suffering. So typically most image uh, to video generation model works like this. You give an image and based on that, it will generate like 25, 30 images and uh, it's going to stitch together. So you have a 30 FPS, uh, one second video. This is typically what uh, most of these video generation models do. Most of the models that are not runway, that are not Pika suffer from this image frame interpolation problem because one frame and another frame are not very coherent. So when you see it, you would easily say that, you know, something bad is going on. So they have taken a nice approach. So to obtain smooth videos at higher frame rates, we fine tune our higher resolution text to video model into a frame interpolation model. So they have a frame interpolation model which they fine tuned from the higher resolution text to video model. And um, we follow the, a particular approach they are mentioning Blackman's approach and concatenate the left and the right frames to the input of the unit. Unit is one of the neural network part that is available via masking. The model learns to predict three frames within the two, within the two conditioning frames, effectively increasing the frame rate by four. So this increases the frame rate that ultimately helps you get much smoother video. This is something that I found pretty interesting apart from the multi view generation. You can go to the end of the paper and then see a lot of different details about what they have done and how they have done. And uh, 
you know uh, different sample images you can see like for example in this case you can see this is the input image like the conditioning image based on that you can see how different images are generated which is finally going to be stitched together and create the video i came across a couple of demos which are like mind-blowingly impressive so this is one of the videos somebody created with a stable diffusion video svd so this entire thing is stable diffusion video it is so surprising to see how far we have come in terms of image to video generation and um, um, generally AI video generation. You can see somebody has tried to create like a Steven Spielberg uh, style movie with this. And uh, you can also see the frame interpolation. Sometimes you can see still there are problems you would see when uh, these frames are being stitched together. But I would say like this is being this is the first version of this model. I, I think like this is a pretty brilliant model at work. It's a shame that this model is not available for commercial use, but I understand that I don't think they're co they want their competitors to copy this. But um, but yeah, I think it's a fine balance in terms of open source research and commercializing uh, commercializing your products. This is a pretty good um, uh, video. The second one I saw, which I link it in the YouTube description, you can see here is that you can see the jelly movement, and uh, this is like straight out of stable video diffusion. Um, I think the only thing that has been done is like the FFmpeg part, but I think everything else is like directly out of it without much of an enhancement and improvement. I, I feel like this is super amazing. This is super amazing. I've been always fascinated about what Runway ML has been doing with uh, respect to the images, like whether it is a panning, whether it is a zooming, whether it is a different scene, but I think stable video diffusion will take this AI video generation or AI cinematic video generation into a totally different world and different experience. I'm definitely looking forward to see how this is going to go. And uh, before I close the videos, this is a real picture. So typically AI video generation image uh, solutions do well when you have stable diffusion or any AI image. So you have an AI image, it does a pretty good job. When you upload an image of a real human being, not every time it does a good job because one, um, it has to understand that image humans, or it has to create recreate these humans in the diffusion latent space. That's how it can do it. But I found pretty fascinating that this image, which um, I uploaded Shatya Nadella and uh, Sam Altman. And when you see this image being a video, you can see this. Uh, this is almost like a live photo of iPhone or a Google Pixel phone. So when you take a photo, sometimes they take extra two, three frames to give you the live uh, video action, a live action. This is not a live for video. It does a pretty good job of taking the real human beings, real human beings, taking these living human beings and making them into a video. I think Sam is not doing pretty much, but uh, I, you can see the smile, the movement and uh, Satya going in the front and coming back. And I think it's quite amazing and brilliant. And uh, let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about this SVD that everybody's been talking about? See you in another video. Happy prompting.